Hello, I'm Bruce Johnson. Thanks for joining us and welcome to Off Script. Let's start with the city's most vulnerable during this tough time weather-wise. Uh, the district counted its homeless population last winter at about 7,000. So far this winter, only about 1,700 of those people have actually checked into area shelters. Now, with the cold temps tonight, we're told those numbers could actually double. If you see a homeless person outside, you can call the shelter hotline. That number, 202-399-0793. Somebody will come pick them up, take them to a shelter or even to a hospital if needed. Now. Right now, I'm joined by Jamal Weldon. He's a supervisor, case manager with DC Homeless Service Services. Jamal, thanks for joining us. I know you guys are busy out there. Help me understand where you are right now and what your team is doing. So yes, right now we're actually on the corner of 2nd and K Northeast. Uh, there's an overpass, if you can see behind us, where there are uh, about 20 or so tents and encampments. So basically our purpose tonight for our outreach team is to come out and engage with as many uh, of our homeless consumers to try to let them know about all the various resources such as warming centers as well as shelters so we can help get them off the street. It's their choice though, right? If they want to go with you, you've got a place to take them. But what if people decide they want to stay out there in the tents all night? What do you do? So it's definitely 100% their choice. Uh, and that's kind of the battle that we go through. However, for those that do choose to stay out on the streets, we always want to make sure that we provide them with not only the information, but also blankets, hand warmers, different other supplies that we have at our disposal to assist with them not uh, suffering these uh, frostbite or hypothermia temperatures that are currently existing. Jamal, based on what you've seen the last couple of days, are there more people out there choosing to stay in the streets or are there fewer people? Well, thankfully, I can say our outreach team does a great job of pinpointing the various encampments that are throughout the city. We have seen uh, quite a few encampments that have been unpopulated, so that does definitely lead to uh, those consumers having gone into our various warming sites or shelters. Jamal, thank you very much, man, for the work uh, that you and your team are doing out there. We really, really appreciate it. Take care.